Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Dr. Babu. Uh, today I'm going to show you a case uh, which I had uh, seen yesterday. Uh, it's a 38 year old male patient, uh, a young uh, gentleman who has uh, come with uh, uh, episodes of recurrent abdominal pain. Of course, we were not provided with any previous imaging. Uh, so, uh, we were considering upper abdominal pain, so we needed to rule out any etiology from the liver, the gallbladder, or the pancreas, uh, stomach, if anything. So, we did a um, uh, contrast and CT of the abdomen uh, using uh, uh, negative contrast uh, for oral administration. We used mannitol uh, in 1 is 3 dilution, approximately 2 liters of uh, uh, Oral contrast was administered over a period of one and a half to two hours, allowing for slow distension of the uh, bowel loops, and uh, following which we gave IV iodinated contrast and did the imaging in uh, portovenous phase. So uh, let's have a quick look at the images to see what's happening. So first, I've loaded the axial sections over here. So as I come from the uh, higher sections from the dome of the diaphragm clearly see the uh, liver is normal in size and parenchymal enhancement. The gallbladder is well distended and uh, does not uh, show any sort of uh, radio dense contents within with the homogeneous uh, bile density within it. And uh, the spleen also appears to be uh, normal in size. Now what could be seen here though is that pancreas is atrophied if you, if you focus in the region of the body and the tail of the pancreas you can see that there is significant loss of uh, parenchymal volume uh, areas of uh, calcification Areas of parenchymal calcification can be seen as these bright spots all over. And uh, the main pancreatic duct is convoluted, dilated. And as you can see here, as it heads towards the head region, there is a large calculus over here within the duct. So there are multiple parenchymal calcifications, uh, there is cystic dilatation of the main pancreatic duct, and there is generalized atrophy of the body and tail of pancreas. Uh, if we go approximately, you can see that there is no intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation. Uh, the cystic duct and the CBD uh, are normal. So this is a case that is typical of chronic calcific pancreatitis. So over a period of time, there are multiple calcific deposits seen in the pancreas and there will be a generalized decrease in volume of the uh, uh, pancreas which with only a eventually a remnant of a ghost uh, within the parenchyma. Um, and uh, another striking feature you can't you can observe over here is that there is a couple of uh, dilated uh, venous channels seen along the walls of the stomach. Uh, if I see here, uh, these are uh, gastric varices. Probably that also needs to be worked up uh, just to rule out any possibility of hemorrhages later on, upper GI bleeds. So, yeah, this is a curved planar reconstruction. In curved planar reconstructed uh, images, you can actually create an axis along which you can uh, uh, reconstruct the whole image so that you can demonstrate a curved structure in a linear pattern, thereby making it easier for demonstrating pathology to uh, referring clinicians. So here in this case, I had done a curved planar reconstruction along the direction of the dilated to convoluted uh, main pancreatic duct. So clearly you can see the uh, contour of the pancreatic parenchyma. Now the two things which we are really concerned about when we do uh, image patients with con uh, chronic calcific pancreatitis is they do have recurrent bouts of uh, uh, acute pancreatitis. 
So we need to look for areas of parenchymal necrosis, any peripancreatic fat stranding, or any localized collection, any sort of vascular thrombosis, uh, venous thrombosis, or any arterial aneurysms. Apart from that, uh, patients with chronic uh, calcific pancreatitis are also prone for getting uh, uh, neoplasms uh, and hence we should also be looking for hypoenhancing uh, parenchymal lesions in the pancreas. Thank you.